So, it looks like there's really good news if you're a reactionary Christian moron with a victim complex, which kind of goes without saying if you're a Christian that you have kind of a victim complex, but it looks like Bill O'Reilly, the conservative blowhard piece of shit and all-around cunt, has announced that the uh, imaginary war on Christmas has been won by his faction. Now, this has been a very easy war for them to win since there's never really been a war on Christmas. Uh, if anything, Christmas, once a holiday that was celebrated on the 25th and maybe for a few days before, you know, the famous song, The 12 Days of Christmas, has been inching ever further back on the calendars to the point where now, the day after Halloween, you can go into a Walgreens or some other store and see all kinds of Christmas decorations everywhere. Um, every year, the amount of money spent on Christmas gifts increases. Um, we're inundated with more and more channels, each of which on TV has their own version of how to celebrate Christmas. So there's never been a war on Christmas. It's always been a lot of bullshit from people like O'Reilly who make money off of uh, hyping uh, the culture wars, which put money in their pockets because people want to feel like they're victimized, want to feel like they're... They're victims of some horrible, unseen force that's trying to destroy Christianity, destroy Christmas, destroy everything that they hold dear. So let's see what this dickhead has to say. First talking points memo. Christmas in America. You may remember about 10 years ago, the fact that began spotlighting companies that refused to say the words Merry Christmas. Oh, how awful. They won't say Merry Christmas. What, what a problem. So there's the thing. Companies decided they're not saying Merry Christmas for whatever reason. This is not a war on you. What this is is their decision not to say Christmas. If someone doesn't want to say Merry Christmas, they're not going to say Merry Christmas. Your fucking victimhood is absurd. And we won. Most companies stop the nonsense. Of course you won because there was never a war on Christmas. Ooh, there, there it is—the far left, the people that are that are bullying you, poor little majority Christians who basically run and control society, uh, because a few of them decide they're not going to say the phrase "Merry Christmas." Somehow, this makes you a victim. Yes, you did fabricate it, you piece of shit. So the American Family Association, basically a group who go around harassing people who don't have the homogenous Christian viewpoint that they adopt and want to rule and lord over society. So look what we have here. We have this group, this massive group who purport to speak for by the way, Christianity is the majority religion in this country. Let's not forget this. Put out a list saying what stores people should avoid because those stores aren't pandering enough to people who feel that Christmas should be this monstrous, huge celebration that we, you know, that everyone has to say. So, uh, ostensibly, basically. You know, if a store doesn't force its employees to say Merry Christmas to everyone at the checkout line, the American Family Association will harass that store. This year, the following companies are rated five star nice. Let's see what else this dickhead has to say. Which is what I do all year long, especially during the holiday season. Do is what? Channel check. It's what you do when you go into stores and you look at products, you see how things are selling, you right. see what type of promotions are there. And if you're not going to all of those stores that are on your list, or at least if you're not branching out to different areas, then you're not doing an accurate but I'll tell you, as a consumer, I'll go to the Christmassy store I can, Mr. Walton. I mean, uh, uh, and if I see a store that refuses to... So this is just completely ridiculous. It's it's just a made-up, bullshit, culture war, sort of victim-baiting, uh, typical right-wing victim-baiting, you know, make make the right out to be this this hurt minority as if, you know, somehow Christians in the United States are being oppressed because a few stores here and there aren't 
going all out and, and you know making a ridiculous show of the fact that they celebrate Christmas. Um, I think it's pretty clear that Christmas is still probably the largest holiday in this country and will be for a long time. So the idea that there ever was a war on Christmas is just a bunch of bullshit that people like O'Reilly uh, used to cash in, you know, make everyone feel like they're victimized so that they can get ratings and, and keep people hooked into this feeling of victimization because it's intoxicating to feel like you're a victim. And that's what right-wing narratives do. They make these people who aren't victims feel like they're victimized by some unseen horrible force that's trying to destroy their way of life. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a merry fucking Christmas.